Mr. President, the pandemic is still seriously hitting the economic recovery. How do you foresee the current year in the upcoming months, um, especially regarding the Italian economy? So I hope that the scientists uh, that are telling us that the last uh, variety of the COVID-19, uh, Omicron, uh, is going to be less uh, dangerous for human health uh, and that uh, in the next uh, summer it probably going to disappear. And this will give uh, an additional push to the Italian economy that is in a phase of strong uh, recovery, both internally there and with the uh, export uh, activities. And Italy is spending more than 200 billion euros arriving from the European Union. So we are making a lot of investment and we are really building a strong economy. I have one main concern regarding Italy, which is demographic. We have one of the lowest birth rates globally. Only Japan is doing worse than Italy. Our population is decreasing, and it is difficult to let an economy grow when the population is decreasing. So I think we have to find a solution also to the demographic aspect. What innovative strategies are the companies of Polo del Gusto going to undertake in the current year? First of all, we want to export uh, more and more. Uh, our best company are exporting about two-thirds of the total uh, production and we want all the companies of Polo del Gusto reach uh, the same percentage. Uh, then we want to uh, open uh, single brand uh, uh, shops uh, or boutiques uh, for our companies in the main cities and we want to launch a multi-brand uh, shop with a new brand that has not yet uh, been communicated, where we will sell all the products of Polo del Gusto. So the chocolate by the Mori, the tea by Daman, uh, the wines by Mastroianni, the gems by uh, Agrimontana, and also the biscuit of the last acquisition, uh, Pintaudi. And the last thing, uh, we are looking for a strong integration between Bricks and Clicks. We are already selling uh, the best company is the man with the tea uh, online, uh, but we think that we need a perfect integration between the two. So uh, we should allow the customers uh, coming to the shop, uh, ordering, and then be delivered at home, but also uh, shopping on the internet and then going to the shop uh, to take the, the goods. So the integration should be full and complete. Illy Group has been cooperating with MIB Trieste School of Management since its foundation in 1988. Uh, what are the main achievements of our partnership, in your opinion? Trieste is a wonderful city with a very high quality of life, but it is quite decentrated. So uh, finding uh, good uh, managers uh, in, in our city is quite difficult. Attracting them from other cities is difficult because we are so decentrated. So the best uh, solution is to train them, and uh, MIP is doing exactly this. Uh, so we are uh, cooperating with MIP for a long time. Uh, when I was the mayor, uh, the decision of uh, giving uh, the building where MIP is uh, working now was taken, and I was very happy of taking this uh, decision. And uh, the cooperation uh, reached, uh, I would say, a peak uh, because uh, one of the trainees that came to uh, Illy Cafe was uh, one of the master in international business uh, uh, attendants and uh, she uh, later has become uh, a manager of Illy Cafe, uh, then general manager of Illy France, our 
distributor of coffee in France, and now she is the chairman of the Manfrère, the tea company. Uh, so I hope that uh, this excellent experience will replicate also in the future. Mm -hmm.